Looking at the tropics, I know a lot of people want to get into this. So we do have the three different areas highlighted from the National Hurricane Center, either as a named storm, in fact, even a major hurricane, or just as an area of investigation. Now these, of course, this is a major hurricane, Fiona, pulling away, as we were saying, from Turks and Caicos and from some of the uh, islands in the Bahamas, and then forecast to become a Category 4, like I was showing you earlier in the show, in the next day or so. And then it will get close to Bermuda, and then eventually weaken some as it nears Newfoundland and Nova Scotia, but Tropical Depression 8 farther out. Uh, it is showing some signs of coming together, but a pretty small system here. I'll put satellite imagery so you can see it here. And this one expected to sort of meander in the same kind of location far from the U.S. mainland. So not expecting any threats from these two for the U.S. and the Gulf Coast. Now this one, of course, Invest 98. It is nothing developed yet, but it does have a high chance of developing. And we are seeing some of these higher clouds just on the southern edge of this broader circulation. But we may see it try to tighten up and develop a bit. Notice that it is still outside of the Caribbean Sea. So we're talking about a system that is way outside of certainly the Gulf of Mexico and not even making it to the Caribbean just yet. In fact, we are seeing some drier air on the northern side of the system. And right now we still have plenty of dry air in parts of the Gulf and into even parts of the Caribbean Sea. So this is not going to be anything that comes at us anytime soon if it ever comes near us at all. This is going to be the steering pattern for next week. Again, we're talking about not in the next few days, but a full week plus out that this system might take this turn into the Caribbean Sea and then perhaps turn off a bit more to the northwest in the western part of the Caribbean. But we, of course, have had this big high and that's been bringing us the hot sunny conditions this week that may retreat a little bit and kind of break down a bit over to the west and it looks like this high will not be quite strong enough to pick this one up as it's farther south and turn it north very early in the game like we've seen with uh, a couple of systems so far this year what we might see is eventually this trough which this placement could be different it is full week a full week out so this placement could be a little bit different off to the west to the north it might dig down a bit deeper it might stay a bit farther north but this might kind of draw whatever the low pressure system is by then to the north so that's why we're watching it for now it is just something to watch again a week plus model accuracy and forecast accuracy goes way down Invest 98 might develop as it either nears the Caribbean Sea or once it gets in the Caribbean, that would be later this week into this weekend. No threats here for the next seven days or maybe even longer because there's so much uncertainty this far out. It's just impossible to say what this might do. I know you wanna probably see at least a model this is Fiona. This is the European model showing a full week from today. A low pressure area you can see here in the Western Caribbean. And as for the GFS, it has a little stronger but pretty similar location. So certainly something that we'll be watching, but just impossible to say where it will end up, uh, how far into the Gulf it might get, etc. But it wouldn't even approach the Gulf, as you saw there, until more than a week from now, maybe the middle to end of next.